Dora isn't the only brave explorer out there. There are thousands of explorers that embark on journeys to, well, explore uncharted territories. I mean, I'd be down to find some lost treasure with Nicolas Cage, but besides that, you won't find me going on any explorations. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. It's me again, your host, Lindsay Ivan. Nice to see you all back here again. Today, we will be counting down the top 10 urban explorers that went missing. Now, if you haven't seen my other video, Top 10 Explorers That Disappeared Without a Trace, I suggest you head on over and uh, watch that one as well. Urban exploration is defined as individuals that go on journeys into places such as abandoned buildings or other areas that are typically man-made. I mean, I definitely couldn't be an explorer because I still lose my mom at the mall. Now starting off at number 10, we have the Teen Town Explorers. Apparently, urban exploration has had a big impact on teens because in this town, it happens quite often. In July of 2018, two young boys in Northamptons decided to explore underneath their town. After exploring for a while, they found themselves lost in a maze of drains. Now, Northampton's sewer system is actually known to be quite complicated, and it's referred to as caverns. After being lost in there for several hours, they were rescued. Thankfully, this rescue team was able to locate their whereabouts and help them out of the tunnels. Bad news is, they didn't smell the greatest after all this happened. In our ninth spot, we have the French Cave Explorer. Eric Estably was a 45-year-old diver known for his cave explorations. He had an ongoing mission to complete a map of the Ardèche Gorge's underground tunnel system. Apparently, Eric went missing for over a week. A rescue team composed of divers went out looking for Eric. They hoped that Eric would be found alive, as an expert reported that he would have been able to last at least 15 days underwater if he had sufficient air. However, sadly, that was not the case for Eric, and he drowned. Since Eric was an established diver, people don't know what happened. Did he get lost? Did he have trouble escaping the cave? No one knows. For number eight, we have the Belgian explorers. Last year, three Belgian explorers aged 30 to 40 years old went into the Rubicara Mortora de Estrana cave complex in Cantabria, Spain. While exploring underground, they became disoriented and lost their bearings. When this team had been missing for over 12 hours, the authorities were called in. Specialized cave explorers were then called in to go and find these missing explorers. Now, this news report gives no additional information after that. We don't know if the team had been found and rescued. Bringing in number seven, we have the Wiltshire Explorers. This group of explorers got lost in a mine. How? Well, it was because of a very, uh, Interesting circumstance. These explorers were searching the abandoned box mine in Wiltshire, England. This mine is filled with 100 feet deep tunnels. After exploring for several hours, they realized that they were lost. The reason for them becoming lost, well, the arrows in the mine were all vandalized over with pictures of uh, the male downstairs region. These explorers went missing for almost a day before stumbling upon an area in the mine with cell phone reception. From there, they were able to request for help. At number six, we have the Paris Catacomb Explorers. The Paris Catacombs are a series of tunnels located under Paris, France. In the 18th century, the catacombs were created when the Paris cemeteries were full and they needed a place to bury the dead. As a result, they buried the dead underground in this series of tunnels. There is approximately 150 miles of tunnels in a maze-like fashion, making it extremely easy to get lost. Now, a portion of these tunnels are still accessible today and have attracted a number of explorers. This was the case for two teenage boys. The 16 and 17 year old boys snuck illegally into the tunnels to the section that was blocked off from the public. And for a good reason too. Not only is it extremely easy for you to get lost with the numerous pathways, but there are also 6 million people buried there. This will definitely make you super uneasy while exploring. These boys were missing for 3 full days. Finally, the authorities along with their team of rescue dogs found the boys in the tunnel. Thankfully, they both survived, only suffering from hypothermia. It could have ended much worse. In our fifth and halfway spot, we have the Ghost Town Explorers. Now, what's scarier than a ghost town? A haunted ghost town. Back 
in 2019, three explorers by the name of Vignesh, Keshvishka, and Muhammad. These explorers were all in the early 20s and they went for an adventure to explore the ghost town in United Arab Emirates. This ghost town was located in the middle of a desert, which made it hard for them to get to. In fact, their car was having trouble driving in the thick sand, so they abandoned it and continued the journey by foot. I mean, even I could have told them uh, how bad of an idea that was. However, they successfully located the town and explored the empty homes, some of which were still completely furnished. As night approached, they all started to get an uneasy feeling and decided to head back to their car. That was until they couldn't locate it. I guess they couldn't have just like used their keys to beep for their car. like. That's what I do when I forget where I parked. Does anyone else do that? They stated that all of the sand dunes started to look the same and they didn't know what direction to travel in. Eventually, they were able to contact the police for help who were able to locate their car and they made sure that they got home safely. In our fourth spot, we have the Rock House Mine Explorers. This next story shows that even when you travel in a group, the outcome can still be quite scary. Erica Tidway, Kayla Williams, and Cody Beverly were all young adults who set out to explore the Rock House Powelton Mine in the town of Clear Creek, Virginia. Now, to get into this abandoned mine, they had to crawl through a small ventilation shaft in the mine. While exploring this mine, it is said that they got lost and were walking around in the pitch black. When these individuals did not return home, a search party was sent out for them. These explorers were missing for five days when they were found inside the mines. Erica was found first, separated from her two friends, and 30 minutes later, Kayla and Cody were found together. After this, a statement was released warning urban explorers to stop entering abandoned mines. Please guys, stop going there. They're very dangerous. Coming in at number 3, we have the Odessa Catacombs. Now, let's travel over to the city of Odessa in the Ukraine. Odessa is known for their labyrinth type tunnels that are under their city, similar to the Paris catacombs. Now, little information is actually available on these catacombs or the next story. Around New Year's, a group of friends, including a young girl named Masha, went out to the catacombs. It is said that they were looking for treasure and also may have been drinking that night. Now, these catacombs are fairly dangerous, as some sections flood with water, others have collapsing ceilings, and some are just completely dismantled. Apparently, the teens stayed down there all night, and in the morning when they went to head home, Masha was nowhere to be found. They believe that she may have wandered to a different location in the tunnels. She was missing for more than four months until a group of boys came across what they thought could be Masha. This image is actually fairly graphic. However, that body was never analyzed or confirmed to be hers. In our second spot, we have the mystery of Kenny Veach. Kenny Veach was an urban explorer who often posted about his journeys on YouTube on his channel Snakebit McGee. He loved hiking and being outdoors. On November 10th, 2014, Kenny disappeared. He told his family he was going on a trip to the mountains in Nevada. One month prior to this adventure, Kenny discovered a cave in the Nevada desert, which he shares on his YouTube channel. Kenny states that he found a hidden cave with an opening of the shape of an M. He is known to cave explorer, but he said that when he entered this cave, he began to vibrate and got very scared. He claimed that it was one of the strangest things that have ever happened to him. But Kenny was intrigued and wanted to eventually explore that cave. When Kenny did go back to that cave, that was the last time he was ever seen. Since the desert is so big and filled with caves, it was hard to figure out what cave Kenny was referring to in his video. As a result, search parties never located him. The only thing that they did find was Kenny's cell phone near a mine shaft about a week later after he disappeared. Nothing else has surfaced and Kenny's disappearance still remains a huge mystery. And in our number one spot, we have the Unidentified Explorer. Now, the Paris catacombs once again show their complexity and darkness with this explorer. Now, unlike the other explorers, this man was never even identified. No one knows who he is or what actually happened. So basically, around 1990, an old dusty moldy camcorder was found in the Paris catacombs. Although the camera appeared to have been there for a while, the footage on it was still accessible and very disturbing. This man can be seen exploring the catacombs. This black and white video starts off in a calm manner as he wanders around the maze looking at bones and even picking up a skull and analyzing it. However, the video takes a twist when he encounters a painting of a figure on the wall with their limbs spread apart. After this discovery, the man becomes more frantic and we don't know why. 
People think maybe he realized that he was lost or he felt like something ghostly was following him. Either way, this footage is very disturbing as he is filming his final moments. The video eventually cuts off and the whereabouts of this man are unknown. That's all of my top 10 for you today and for my first time I'm actually going to do a little thing where I read some of the comments from my other video, top 10 most isolated communities. Alex Chavez says, yes, yes, all of them, but my neighbor is my grandparents so I love them. Aw, that's nice, tell them I say hey. Hey Alexis' grandparents. Eric Cortez says, you won me over with that friends reference. Well, I'm glad, I love friends. Bivot. The big bean said, she said, and lastly we have, then an ad said Daryl. That's actually hilarious and perfect timing. All right, that's all for today's video. If you want your comment featured in my next video, make sure you comment down below. And as always, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I will see you all later.